Hi everyone, my name is Matt and welcome to my channel. Last week we painted this greenish looking crypt guard, and today let's paint another one. I got a couple requests for a pale, bluish gray kind of skin tone, so I'll be doing that with contrast paints, and then painting some sick looking blood splatters. So without further ado, let's get started. I began with my usual priming method. Gray primer all over, followed by a spray of white from the top and sides. It results in a subtle, zenithal style effect with gray on the undersides blended to white on top. Alternatively, you could spray the model with a solid white spray and get great results too. For the first layer, I'll be mixing a couple contrast paints together. About five parts apothecary white to one part Griff Charger gray. Griff Charger gray on its own is too dark, but mixing in some apothecary white makes it just right. When working with contrast paints, work on one section at a time and try to apply enough paint so it pools slightly but doesn't run off the model. Use the brush to soak up any excess paint before moving on to the next section. After that first coat was dry, I painted a second layer in some areas to build up some depth. I focused mostly on the hands, feet, and back. Custom mixes like this color are really easy to make, and if you're painting an army, I'd recommend mixing a whole bottle of paint. That way you only have to mix it once. Check out this video here to see how I go about mixing a custom color. I'm liking the skin so far, but I think it needs some color variety, and a brownish red shade paint will do the trick. I used Targor Rage Shade to add some bruising here and there. It's really easy to blend the wet paint. Just paint a small area, then rinse the brush, dry it on a paper towel, and then run the clean brush along the edge. I worked my way around the model and added some color wherever I thought the model needed it. We need some really dark tones to offset the pale skin, so let's paint the hair with Black Templar. I'll be blending the edge of the wet paint just like the last step. Apply the paint, rinse the brush, wipe it on a paper towel, and then run the brush along the edge. Sometimes I'll have to rinse the brush again and make a second or third pass to make sure the edge is blended. With the Black Templar still on my palette, I also painted the claws. Next I painted the bones with Bone White. I'm not going to paint the teeth or mouth right now, we'll cover that part at the end. After the bone white dried, I shaded those areas with Agrax Earth Shade. Rather than paint the shade all over, I tried to paint it directly into the recesses. Then I carefully dotted the eyes with white. After the white dried, I shaded the eyes with Targor Rage Shade. I 
I want this guy to look gruesome, so why not make the loincloth look like it's a piece of fresh skin? Fire Slayer Flesh Contrast Paint will work well for the base coat. Then I painted the belt and strap with Garagax Sewer. I also used it to paint a very fine line on the edge of the loincloth. Next I painted the sword with iron hand steel. Then I shaded the sword with Agrax Earth Shade. When I shade swords I like to alternate the direction of the gradient on each facet. I ended up painting two or three coats to build up the shade. Now it's time for a few highlights. I want to keep this paint scheme fast and ideal for army painting, so I'd like to keep highlights to a minimum. First I used some off-white to highlight the edges of the bones. I painted it thin like a glaze in some areas, and I painted a sharper line highlight in others. It all depends on the shape of the surface and how you'd like to accent it. Then I highlighted the leather straps with talar and sand. Just a few of the edges here and there. Finally, I picked out the edges of the loincloth with flayed one flesh. Now for the most important and most gruesome part, blood. There are plenty of different methods out there, some more complicated than others. This method looks pretty good and doesn't involve any special materials, so that's why I like it. I'm starting with some Flesh Terror's Red Contrast paint, diluted with a small amount of contrast medium. Then take an old brush. The more beat up it is, the better. Grab a little bit of paint and then wipe it off, almost like you're dry brushing with it. But then tap it downwards on the paper towel and it will spread out the hairs. Tap and stipple the brush on the model and it will make a different mark each time, perfect for blood splatters. Work all around the model, adding red wherever you want it. By the time you work all the way around, the first layer should be dry and you can start building up the color. Once the red is nice and vibrant, mix a little black Templar in it to darken the red paint. Add a few darker marks here and there, especially where the red color is the richest.
With all the blood done, I moved on to the base. I used an old brush to apply a generous coat of textured paint, and before the paint dried, I sprinkled on some coarse gravel and fine sand. After the base dried, I painted the whole thing with a thin coat of rhinoxide. I dry brushed the ground with steel legion drab, and then painted the rocks with dawnstone. I shaded the rocks with Agrax Earthshade. I painted the edge of the base with Rhinoxide. And when that was dry, I applied a few patches of dead static grass with super glue. And here's the finished Crypt Guard, and he looks absolutely disgusting. The blood really adds a gruesome effect, which I think shows up even more over such pale skin. What do you think? Too gross, or not gross enough? Drop a comment below and share your thoughts, and while you're at it, please click the like button if you liked the video, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. Well that's it for now, thanks for watching, and until next time, happy painting.